Hello. In this presentation, I am going to show you how to install Windows Server 2008 R2 into a 64-bit VMware Player virtual machine. So I'm going to start by creating a new virtual machine. And now I need to define where the installation files are located. If you have the files on a DVD-ROM, choose Installer Disk and put the disk in your optical drive. I have an ISO file on my computer, so I'm going to put a bullet on the ISO file and then I'm going to browse for the actual file. So I've got the file in Documents, Public Documents on my Windows 7 computer. And then I've got a folder, Windows Server 2008 R2, and then the ISO file for Windows Server 2008 R2. So I'll highlight that, click on Open, and click on Next. I don't have a product key for this installation. This is only going to be a trial. So I'm going to leave that blank. And I'm going to choose to install R2 Enterprise. I'd like to have the Enterprise version. And I'm going to call this EX01 because it's going to be an Exchange server. And I'm going to put a password in. And then we'll click on Next. And it's prompting me that I did not enter a Windows product key. Would you like to install without one? And yes, I would. So I'll click on Yes and click on Next. And I'm going to leave the default disk size of 40 gigabytes. You may want to expand it or decrease it based on the available hard drive capacity that you're working with. And I'm going to store my virtual disk as a single file. You have the option of using multiple files if you may potentially copy this and move it to alternate machines. It would be easier to do that if this were broken up into multiple files. I'm not going to do that, so a single file is fine. Then I'll click on Next. And here I've got a summary page. But before I continue on, I want to customize my hardware. And right now, I'm using one gigabyte of memory. I'd like two gigabytes of memory allocated to this 2008 R2 server. The computer I'm working from has 12 gigabytes of memory present, so going to two GBs is fine for me. If you only have four gigabytes or less, you may want to leave that at the one gigabyte setting. I'm also going to change the network adapter from NAT and I want to use host only networking so my virtual machine will not be accessible to and from the internet and then I'll click on OK and I'll click on finish and notice that I'll power on this virtual machine after creation. This will start the installation process of my 2008 R2 server. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through many of the periods where the computer is just working, you'll be able to see it, but it will be in a fast forward motion. All right, the installation is complete. I'm going to go ahead and click on Virtual Machine and send a Control-Alt-Delete to my virtual server and then go ahead and get logged in. So I need to do a couple of final things to my 2008 virtual server since installation. The first time I log on, I'm going to be presented with the initial configuration tasks. On the initial configuration tasks screen, I'm going to go ahead and change the computer name as well as set up an IP address. So here we are on the initial configuration tasks screen and I'm going to configure networking by clicking on configure networking. There's my local area connection. 
if I right click it, left click on properties, I'm going to go ahead to the TCP IP v4 address, click on properties, and I'm going to assign a static IP address. I'm just going to use 10 10 10 10 for simplicity reasons. And I'll use a 255 255 255 subnet mask, which is a class C address. There is no DNS servers present yet, so I'm going to go ahead and leave those blank. Uh, and then I'll click OK. And there's no default gateway also because the server cannot access the internet. So I'll close this information out, close my network connections dialog box. Uh, you'll see it in the background we've been installing VMware tools. Uh, while we're waiting on that I'm going to click back on the initial configuration tasks and I'm going to go ahead and provide a computer name and a domain. And the computer name I'm going to change by clicking on the change button and I'm going to call this computer name EX01 and it can stay a member of a work group and actually it looks like our VMware tools beat us to the punch and is restarting our computer so we may have to change the computer name after a reboot I'm gonna fast forward okay we're gonna log back in now so now we have the initial configuration tasks again notice the IP address has been changed but the computer name has not I'm going to left click on computer name, go down to change, and I'm going to change my computer name to EX01. I'll leave it in a work group for now. And now we have to restart the computer again to make those changes go into effect. So I'm going to fast forward through this portion. Now we'll log back in again. Initial configuration tasks is still launched the first time you log in and we can just review this and then close the window and make it permanently go away. We're not going to activate Windows because this is a trial installation. The time zone could be changed here but it's already picked up that I'm in central time which I am. I've configured my networking and I've given it a computer name EX01. At this point in time, I'm not going to provide automatic updates information or download and install updates because this computer cannot access the internet. And I'll add rules and features later. So I'm going to go ahead and check the box, do not show this window at logon, and close the initial configuration tasks. That's gone now. The next thing to launch is Server Manager. And on Server Manager, I can review pretty much the same information, plus there's additional information here. Uh, such as roles and features where I could add the Active Directory directory services role to my 2008 R2 server if I'd like or other roles. But this concludes my demonstration specifically on how to install 2008 server R2 which is 64-bit onto a VMware player virtual machine. Check back for another video because I'm going to show you how to add Active Directory directory services to this uh, virtual machine. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.